Today's medical-centric topic is Diagnosing Ankylosing Spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis, AS, is a chronic inflammatory arthritis that primarily affects the spine, lower back, and sacroiliac joints. Over time, it can cause stiffness, pain, and fusion of the vertebrae, limiting mobility. Since AS symptoms develop gradually and resemble other back conditions, early and accurate diagnosis is essential for proper treatment and preventing complications. 1. Early Symptoms That May Indicate AS Persistent lower back and hip pain, lasting over three months. Morning stiffness that improves with movement. Pain that worsens at night and improves during the day. Limited spine flexibility due to inflammation. Fatigue, eye inflammation, uvitis, and breathing difficulties in advanced cases. 2. Steps in Diagnosing Ankylosing Spondylitis 1. Medical History and Symptom Assessment A doctor will ask about Pain duration and severity Chronic versus temporary Family history of AS or autoimmune diseases Other symptoms like eye inflammation, fatigue or gastrointestinal issues linked to inflammatory bowel disease 2. Physical Examination Schober's test measures spinal flexibility and range of motion. Tenderness check pressing on the lower back and sacroiliac joints to detect inflammation. Posture and mobility assessment checking for a hunched posture, stiffness, or difficulty bending. 3. Blood tests for inflammatory markers. C reactive protein, CRP and erythrocyte sedimentation rate, ESR, detect inflammation, but results may be normal in some AS patients. HLA B27 genetic marker, found in 80 to 90% of AS patients, but not everyone with HLA B27 develops AS, helps support diagnosis when combined with symptoms and imaging. Four. Imaging tests to confirm diagnosis. X-rays. Detects joint damage, spinal changes, and sacroiliac joint inflammation. May not show early AS changes, making additional imaging necessary. MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging. More sensitive than X-rays, detecting early inflammation before bone damage occurs. Useful for diagnosing mild or early stage AS. CT scans, rarely used. Provides detailed bone images but is less effective for soft tissue inflammation. 3. Conditions that mimic AS. Differential diagnosis. Mechanical back pain. Due to muscle strain or injury. Osteoarthritis. Causes joint pain but lacks the inflammatory component of AS. Fibromyalgia. Chronic pain condition without joint damage. Rheumatoid arthritis, RA. Affects joints but typically not the spine in early stages. 4. When to see a doctor. If back pain persists for more than 3 months, especially before age 40. If pain improves with movement but worsens with rest. If experiencing eye redness, blurred vision, or chronic fatigue. If there's a family history of AS or autoimmune diseases. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.